Dr. McGeorge gets his second dose of the coronavirus vaccine, and for him, it definitely was not like the first. As vaccinations against COVID-19 continue, we are now at a point that many people who received the first doses of the Pfizer vaccine have received their second dose. And that includes our own Dr. Frank McGeorge. He joins us now to talk about the side effects he had from the second dose, so you know what to expect. Hi, Doc. Hey, Kim and Devin. Yeah, you know, my experience with the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine was pretty much in line with what I expected, mainly just soreness in my arm where I received the injection, although I will say it was much more severe than I had ever experienced from any other shot. That pain responded to Motrin, and it was frankly gone in a day. My second shot, though, that was a different story. We'll start with a thought from my video diary that was recorded after my first shot. Something else just occurred to me while I'm driving home to do the news, and I guess maybe it's just an untimely afterthought. Three weeks from today, the date on my vaccination card, when I'm due for my second dose of the vaccine, I actually have three midnight shifts. That was poor planning by me, since based on the study data, the highest incidence of side effects like fever, body aches, and so on, are the day or two after the second shot. Fortunately, I was able to reschedule my second dose to after my midnight shifts, and here's why. Data from the study that Pfizer submitted to the FDA for its emergency use authorization clearly shows a significant number of side effects after the second dose. Nearly one-third of people 18 to 55 years old had a fever, 35% experienced chills, 52% had a headache, 22% had joint pain, 37% had muscle pain, and nearly two-thirds experienced fatigue. I was in the unlucky group to feel all the side effects. I received the shot at 7.30 a.m. on Sunday morning and went home to sleep. By noon, four hours later when I woke up, I had a sore arm. Now, during the day on Sunday, I felt fine until around 9 p.m. That was 14 hours after the shot. I started having body aches, and by 10 p.m. I had taken some Motrin. The following 12 hours were really unpleasant. Muscle pain, joint pain, headache, chills, and a fever to 100.5. I didn't feel normal until 36 hours after the shot. Now, I want to be clear. I'm talking about this so you have an idea of what could happen after the second shot and you're prepared. Make sure you have a light day planned after and also have some Tylenol or Motrin around. I have talked to a lot of my coworkers who also had their second dose and at least a third of them did have significant side effects. I also want to note though, I've seen the effects of a severe COVID infection, and frankly, the vaccine is still definitely the better choice. Yeah, out of all those symptoms that you went through, it is better than if you got COVID. And Frank, we really appreciate you being transparent too with how your uh, dosage went, the second one. Do you feel any sense of relief though, now that you've had both doses? Yeah, I do, you know, but with some qualifications. You know, we know the vaccine is highly effective, but it's not 100%, so I don't feel invincible. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna wear a mask, and this isn't really gonna change my behaviors, but I will feel safer when I walk into the room of a patient who I know has COVID, because we also know that, frankly, masks aren't perfect. Right. So the vaccine, in my mind, is really just another layer of yeah. safety. Well, glad you are okay. Thanks again for sharing what you went through, and we know there are so many more questions about the vaccine. So tomorrow at 1230, Dr. McGeorge and our health producer, Sarah Mayberry, will hold a live discussion on clickondetroit.com. So if you have a question, log on and ask your question. That's tomorrow at 1230.